you would have created G code for this on in Bobcad and exported it onto a thumb drive. This machine speaks inches, so you would export that as an inch file. Um, load G code is that button right there. We're just going to go to the desktop and look for something that already exists. Let's try this one. Open that. When we open the G-code file, it loads the G-code over here and loads the graphic in over here. Okay, And this helps you remember where you set your 0, 0. I didn't program this, so I didn't remember where this was, but our crosshairs here, this purple line and this purple line, are telling us where the torch is. So on this particular graphic, the 0, 0 was the top left corner of that W. Okay. So if we were going to cut that out of this piece, we would want to move that up so we would have room to cut the whole part out of. So you get a clue when you load things here, the crosshairs are telling you where the torch is. If the torch is at zero, zero, you know that that's zero, zero for the graphic or for the file that you're cutting. So let's go ahead and move that up and re-zero X. Y is just fine. We're on the left side there. I'm going to move it up. And re-zero Y. Now I'm sitting up there far enough that I can start cutting that piece. We'll do a trial run. It's always a good idea to do a trial run with this machine to make sure that your your geometry all fits on the piece of metal that you're trying to cut. So if you leave that switch off and the plasma cutter turned off, then all it will do is move around. It won't be making any, any fire. It won't be doing any cutting. So if we're ready to try that, we can click on cycle start. We're at the top of our G code here. If you've scrolled down to look at something like this, you want to make sure and hit rewind to get to the top of the G code because there's all kinds of preliminary information for the machine that happens at the very beginning that's dangerous to skip. So we hit cycle start. And it shows you on the screen where it's cutting. And we clearly have, don't have a big enough piece of metal to cut out this particular geometry. But that's why we run it, to find out do we have the, enough material, are we in the right place on the material to do it. If we were actually running this job and we wanted to pause it, the first thing we would do would be to turn off the torch. Because if you stop the machine with the torch still running, it'll just blow a big hole in your work. Right now I'm going to hit stop because we're done with this. It raises the torch back up. And if we were actually going to run this job, we'd put a big enough piece of material in there and rewind back to the top of the file and start it again. Powering the machine down is as simple as closing that, end session yes. It will also ask you if you want a fixture save. You can say either yes or no. It doesn't make any difference. Um, since we're running prototype quantities on here, we never have a fixture location for it. And you're back to the top of the normal screen of the computer. And we can shut the computer down here. Shut down, shut down. And as soon as that screen goes dark, we can turn off the power strip on the wall. That's power on and power off.